Welcome to Bible 180, Hosea. Hosea is a very personal book. Hosea was a prophet to the northern kingdom of Israel, which is also called Ephraim. Shockingly, Yahweh orders Hosea to marry an adulterous woman, Gomer. She bears him three children with symbolic names. The first is named Jezreel. Jezreel is the location where God had first ordered the northern kingdom's dynasty under Jeroboam to be destroyed. Jehu does it, but unfortunately Jehu's dynasty ends up just as bad. So once again, God is ordering the destruction of his people. Only this time it will be the whole nation, not just the dynasty. Hosea's daughter is named Not Loved. His next son is named Not My People. The northern kingdom will not receive the Lord's love and no longer be his people. However, God orders Hosea to reunite with his cheating wife, even paying off her debts to her lovers. This is a sign of how faithfully loving Yahweh is despite Israel's unfaithfulness. One day the Lord will woo her back and wash away her sins and call them his people and he will be their God. He even promises that the northern and southern kingdom will reunite again under one ruler. Like deliberately planting and watering an invasive vine, Israel's wickedness has been committed by defiantly wicked acts and policies. Like an adulterous woman who still expects to be provided for by her jilted spouse, she worships Yahweh, assuming that he will bail her out when she's in trouble. But no one in the northern kingdom really knows the Lord. They know of him, but they don't care to listen to what he says or to learn what is in his heart. Instead, Israel looks to idols and to foreign nations to fix her problems. All are guilty of this spirit of prostitution from pauper to prince to priest. So Israel with experience God's wrath like a flood or an avalanche or a lion. A husband wouldn't knowingly stay with an actively cheating spouse, so Yahweh will leave Israel, who is in essence already abandoned him. However, Yahweh's love for Ephraim is great. He beckoned Israel out of Egypt and, and led him like a son to the promised land. Now you are destroyed, O Israel. Why? Because I am against you. I who wish to be your helper, says the Lord. Your kings are gone because I took them away. Now Israel is like a woman who is in labor, but her pains will amount to nothing for she will bear no more descendants. Yet although I will destroy the northern kingdom utterly and there will be dead in the water as a nation, yet I will still ransom them, says Yahweh, from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. Where, O death, are your plagues? Where, O grave, is your destruction? I can't stop loving you, despite your wickedness. The closing poem advises, repent, renounce of your alliance with Assyria, acknowledge that your false idols have failed you and come back to me. Then I will heal you of your waywardness. I will reunite with my love. I will raise you up like a great tree. The book concludes advising the wise person will repent and return to the Lord, but the wicked will stumble into